night, you guys. The boys are napping, so I figured I would try to take my time um, to do my makeup because I don't always have time to do my makeup. So I moved my vanity. <laughs> this is against the window. Um, it has a mirror that pops up here, so um, underneath it is all of my makeup. Like, there's just like so much like random, different. There's my shows and my shows and. Brushes. Got some stuff in here. A lot of this stuff is older too um, that I just have not used in forever. This is what I usually wear like most days. Um, is what's in here. So um, I am going to try to get ready and we'll chat and maybe have a conversation. Maybe I don't know. We'll see if I if I'm in the talking mood. But um, let's get ready. This is what I've been using for the last couple years I would say is the Naked um, Skin by Urban Decay. It's in the 1.5 which I'm not. <laughs> I actually got the wrong shade. I'm actually like a 2 but that's okay um, because the powder that I actually got, taking my rings, my nose rings out, the powder that I actually am using is a little shade darker than what I am so like with the two combined it actually actually balances out pretty good. I've been watching a lot of uh, Nikki tutorials. Um, I think she's super funny. I really like her. Um, I love the way she does makeup. Made me think that I don't put on enough makeup because like they, they go on full face like layers and layers. And I would really usually only do like here and here. I always use my finger too. Alright and then concealer. I usually only put it like if I have spots anywhere. And I'm going to set it with the Studio Fix. This is NC30. This is not a show me how to do my makeup tutorial because I'm sure there's probably people out there like, oh, you're putting it all wrong or you're doing this or that wrong. Like, no, this is the way Mari does her makeup, so I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup. I use the Brow Wave, it's the Anastasia um, in medium brown. And I like the medium brown, but then sometimes I think that I want to do the taupe or the soft brown, but I feel like it's a little too light. Like my hair is kind of like a medium, like a light to medium brown. Um, and I feel like this has just the right amount of brown without it having a red tone. go like from the middle to the end and then I go back into the front area. Do some glow, some bronzer. I usually do just a regular blush but um, let's do a bronze glow. So this bronzer has a little bit of like a shimmer, I don't know if you can really see it. This is an old bronzer that I have. But um, I noticed that people do like a bronzer, like a brown brown, almost looks like an eyeshadow to me. And then they go over it with um, like a pinker color and then they do like a highlighter. Um, I have a highlighter but I don't, I don't think I know how to use it. Oh yeah, and Lindsay, what's, I, I learned the other thing with eyeshadows, or I think mainly eyeshadows, but you do the tapping thing. Alright, that's all. That's where I look like it's down. Alright, for my eyeshadow, I usually, when I'm going to do like something with my eyes, besides like just mascara, um, I do go in with just like a, just like a very neutrally like a beige color. Uh, this is MAC. It's so old, I, don't, I can't even see the color. And I usually use my finger. Which I have used before. Um, I just don't have any at the moment, and it's been a while. I'm gonna use one of the naked colors, um, 
chopper. And I still use a sponge. I know a lot of people use brushes, but I still like my sponge. But we'll try the brush. So I saw Nikki try this. She had like a really shimmery green and I don't have one besides this baked eyeshadow so I wonder if I can use this and it have the same um, type of effect or type of look. I'm going to wet my sponge real quick. There's probably like a a gel or a cream or something that people use actually to use these eyeshadows with, like the really shimmery ones. Like, um, but I've just been wetting my sponges. Just do it. And an even brighter one. It's a little brighter one. Sally again. the shimmer from the green anymore. <laughs> For my eyeliner, I like to use the Alme in, this is like very black or something. Black. Just black. about this right now either because I think I'm gonna try eyelashes and I don't usually do eyelashes but I think I'm gonna try them. Another thing that I've seen them use is um, eyeshadow for eyeliner. Go like something growing in my eye. I would not be good at doing this professionally guys and this is not what's going on here. Man those girls on there like you gotta talk it as you're going with what you're doing and do it also good like oh that already looks horrible. I need help. I need help. <laughs> I never do lashes. Um, but I have an easy press on lash, so I'm hoping um, that this is easy and it does just press on because I threw all my glue out from the eyelashes that I've had from years ago that I've never worn. How do I use it? Well, read the directions, Madi. Something I'm really bad at is reading directions. How to apply a carefully left applicator from the tray. Apply a thin layer or thin level of adhesive along the band. Wait 30 seconds to set. Along the band. Oh. And then how does it come off the applicator? Align applicator along lash line. Press and go. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mess it up. Left. Oh, it's been to the wrong eye.
<sighs> I can't do it. I can't use this. Alright. I don't do lashes because we don't know how to use them. Why is this blue? It's not my eyeliner. Oh my god, the shower to come. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm gonna redo it because I can't do it without you. I can't even do this easy, easy stuff. Why can't I do it? <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Take it to old school. Oh, no, never mind. Don't do that, Maddie. Don't do that. So I managed to fix the glue mess that was going on. Um, and then these are my eyelashes now. Just doing a second coat. Alright, that has traumatized me from using fake eyelashes. I need to be shown how to do it because I obviously do not know how to, how to do it. And just because it's what I know and I always feel like my eyes are big but when I put the eyeshadow like that underneath I feel like they're too big. Like I need to like bring them in a little bit. I'm gonna wear some eyeliner. So I guess this is more of a dramatic look. Because if I was going out, I would wouldn't mind going out with this makeup. the matte that I, the only <laughs> matte that I have. any lip liner on which I'm not sure if I should or not but um, okay so that's because it doesn't look that bad my eyebrow looks a little funky here I can go make my kids lunch now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was pretty, it was pretty surprising how bad I don't know how to do my makeup, but, or how bad I think I don't know how to do my makeup. Um, but in the end, even with all the steps that I was going through and just seeing, not, not being able to see the final picture, I guess is what I'm saying, um, is kind of like made me think that I was doing something wrong. But now that I'm looking at it, now that it's complete, I realized that it didn't have to be perfect as going, you know, as I was going along the different um, things I was applying. Um, because in the end, it kind of all comes together, and I actually do like it. I actually really, if you guys can see, there's my eyeshadow. And then the other thing I would really like to learn how to do is to put on my blush, my blush, bronzer. Oh, highlighter, highlighter. I have a highlighter. 
And again, leave it up to Sally's. I'm telling you, I had, I bought everything from Sally's. I love Sally's, I really do. Um, but this one, um, this is all of the highlighter. Highlight of the night. Actually, I don't want to go overboard because I'm scared I'm going to mess it up and look like glow, this big glowing ball of hair. <laughs> um, but that's the other thing, Lindsay, I would like some help with um, using highlighters. So if this isn't a cry for help, then I don't know what it is.